Oh no. What? What does that mean? Did anyone pass in your family? Yeah. Someone very close to you? Yeah. That someone is pushing dark energy on you, Jack. I feel she's here. She? No, that's my father. Who passed away. Shh! Don't interrupt! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Marcos. Here. Others here, Jack. And he says... I am disappointed. I am disappointed, Jack. <laughs> That's our family business. And you must inherit it. I told you a billion times, I don't want it. Don't push into me, okay, please? Pushing! I gave you everything to become successful. And uh, this is how you uh, thank me. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. But you can't decide my future for me, father. You can't decide my future for me, father. It's enough. The conversation is over. I don't have time for this. And you, mark my words. You will be nothing without our family business. You! Dad? Dad! Jack. We can handle it. We have a team. There is not. Jack. I need time to throw things out. Spirits always bring their anger with them to the afterlife. Your father is very, very mad at you, Jack. What have you done? I disappointed him broke his expectation and after he passed away his business become mine and I <laughs> totally ruined everything and now I have so many loans to replace it I have mortgage my house and I have anything left and uh, poor Caddy couldn't handle that and left Caddy no <laughs> she's always supported me and I left her and only I make all things worse and she deserves better. No, it's you, you who deserves better. You're such a noble man. Put your hands on the planchette. Your father wants to talk to you. Calm down, I'm with you. Oh, Jesus. Jack's father, can you hear us? Jack's father! Can you hear us? Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't move, I swear! Calm down, calm down. My father, he's here! He is here! What do you want to say to your son? D. I. S. A. P. Disappointed. Disappointed. I'm sorry, Fuzzy. I tried my best not to fail you. I tried my best not to fail you. I tried my best not to fail you. Drat. Uh, I lost contact. But things are much worse than I expected. Oh, no. Your father cannot forgive you, Jack. He thinks that you betrayed him. And if we don't break the curse, Jack, he will ruin you. I don't understand. I just want him to forgive me and be happy there. That will be very expensive. How much? Ten thousand dollars? I deep in debt and I don't have that much money. What about that thing in your hand? That thing? Yes. Oh, it's my family heirloom. Family curses can only be ruined 
with family heirlooms. If you say so, take it for my father. Seriously? You were going to give me your father's watch? Yeah, so you can break a curse? Cheese. You're lucky that you met me and not a real scammer. Four people out of ten in the United States believe in psychics. You're one of those who feed a two billion dollar industry, Jack. You are not the real psychic? <laughs> of course not. Wait, how, how, how did you know about the, my business, about the divorce? <laughs> because you posted that on your Facebook page. What about my father? I never posted anything about him. I simply said things which could be true for most people. And you told me the rest. <laughs> did anyone pass in your family? Naturally, you've lost at least one relative in your life. But you sent it my thoughts. My fears. That's called cold readings. Psychics are empathetic enough to scan people. Okay. Uh, what about the board and, and the lights? And lights are simple. Can we add some drama here? That is my assistant, who watches us through the camera and improvises a bit. That's enough. Thank you. There is no magic here, Jack. What about the planchette? It's called ideometer effect. You moved the planchette unconsciously, the way your mind wanted you to. Sorry, explain? You so strongly believed that your father was disappointed in you, that you pushed the planchette to the letters. And when you stopped, I kind of helped you. So, I'm not cursed? Of course not. Bad things happen, but it doesn't mean there is some mystery behind it. And no, you are not guilty in your father's death. Did he have any undergoing health issues? Actually, he did suffer from heart problems for years, but his passing was so unexpected. God, I wish there was a way to talk to him again. I'm not trying to say that all psychics are scammers. But if you have family problems, you gotta go and meet a certified therapist, Jack. <sighs> That's what Katie always told to me. God, why did I push her away? Do you still love her? So what are you waiting for? Katie, uh, let me back on the team. We'll see. I need time to sort things out. Hi, my name is Sergey Denga, and I'm part of the main cast on the Dramatize Me project. Subscribe to our channel if you want to watch more videos with me.